Hi, how are ya? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we completed the dungeon, the stockade, and we learned about how the stonemasons became the Defias Brotherhood. And we finished off the Defias Brotherhood, supposedly. And since we did that, we were rewarded with Steel of Rin, which gives us three strength, three agility, four stamina, four intellect, and three spirit. What the heck is this? Fell silver. Fell sliver. Can we do anything to this? Can I heal it? Can we dispel it? Can we cast exorcism on it? Doesn't look like we can do anything. Can we resurrect it? Interesting. It's probably for another class. Not for us, but that's a... Uh, I've never seen that before. The Fell Sliver. Maybe it's for Warlocks. I know Warlocks use Fell Magic. And today we're getting the, the Cozy Sleeping Bay, guys. As the plan. And once we get it, we will be able to use it and get a 3% experience buff. So we just have to head over here. And we have to find a note. It's a quest called Burned Out Remains. It should be just around here somewhere. There it is. Burned Out Remains right here. Looks like a dwarf was in a fire. The faint radiance of the embers darkening, you stumble across the remnants of a recent fire. Amidst the scattered provisions, you discover a blistered note. Not all that burns is lost. Find the twin land. Find the place. All right, so here we are at the... Got this place here. Looks like a dwarf. Kind of. Got a couple bottles next to him. Take a quick screenshot here. There we go. Alright, so let's hearth to Amanithil Harbor. We have the note, I hope. Make sure I, I picked up that quest. There we go, we got it. Seems like the note is our only guide. I have done this quest before, so I do know where to go next. Did it on the priest. But we are heading over to the Deepwater Tavern. And we are going to be making our way over to Theramore Isle. Let's check out the charred note. The page is singed in multiple spots, as if someone had hastily tried to burn it. Some of what remains is legible. Ada. I'm pleased to hear Island at the Darkened blank Bank. One of our agents pass phrase. As one candle is snuffed out, another is lit. Mitchells. All right, well, that's it. Here we are, guys, at Theramore Isle. I decided to cut out the boat weight because it was taking quite a while. It took us around five minutes, five to ten minutes to get here. And now we are on our way to the Barrens. That is the plan. Pretty much right outside of this zone is uh, where the next quest is. Hopefully we don't run into any horde on the way there. It's also nice that Questy actually shows us how to, like where to complete this quest now. That wasn't the case when I did it on the priest. I guess after the last few updates, Questy added the cozy, cozy sleeping bag quest chain to the add-on. And maybe I'll cut out a bit of the traveling for this quest. Because, because after this, we actually have to go to 
all the way up to Stone Town Mountains, and that is quite the trek, guys. So maybe we will... Cut that journey out? Who knows? We'll see. It's not too bad. It's not, well, it's not that long. It's going to take us, I think, like 20 minutes to get there. Probably. I wish we had a flight point in the Barrens, though, that we could use to get to Stone Town. I believe I... Do I have any? I don't really think I have any of the flight points in Stone Town Mounts. I don't. Or in Desolus. We will eventually have to make our way to Desolus because there is a quest that we will want to get there for Scarlet Monastery. You get the Bone Biter Axe from it. Which is pretty damn nice. It's probably one of the best axes you can get from like levels 35 to 45. And I've seen a few screenshots of the new Sunken Temple that will be released in Phase 3. And it looks pretty good. Much better than the old version of Sunken Temple. I never really enjoyed doing that dungeon back in the day. Because it kind of looked like a sewer. That's just the vibe, <laughs> vibe I get when I'm in there. has a very d wet and damp vibe to it. And overall, though, the, the enemies you fight are cool. The, the green dragons are kind of fun to fight. There's a couple of, of bosses that I, I thought were kind of fun. But I'm interested to see what they do with it. I think they're going to make it much better than the original version. It was due for a revamp anyways. I wonder what that dungeon looks like in retail. I wonder if they ever actually like revamped to that dungeon. Probably not. So that was a good choice because that's a dungeon that I usually avoid doing. And now... You know, you'll have no choice but to give it a try. Same with Nomergon. As a Horde player, I rarely ever did Nomergon either. I still haven't done the raid yet. I need to get that going. Well, I, you don't really need to get it going soon. You can do those raids and in other phases, right? So, I hope we're going to get blown up. No, I, for some reason they didn't they didn't kill me. Kind of surprised. I guess it's because I'm leveling up. I'm usually that way as well. Like if I'm max level, Gank in a low beat. It's fun sometimes. But if you're just running by one on your way somewhere, it's it's not worth getting off your mount just to one shot a low beat. If I was level 40, though, I think they would attack me. There's another one. Let's see if this guy kills me. No. Left me alone. What's happening with this server? 
I think it's just because I'm running through uh, this zone. Dust wall of marsh. If I was in Ratchet, I would get ganked. That's just how it is. If you're in an area where people usually get ganked, you'll most likely get ganked. Since we're just running through Dust Wall of Marsh, I think we are being left alone because of that. But yeah, there is quite a bit of traveling for this quest chain, guys. And it looks like we can... I think we already did this as a paladin, but it looks like you can travel through Dustwall Marsh, even at a low level. I think in their early 20s we did this as well. Don't really have much to worry about as long as you stick to the road. All right, so here's the burning tower. I don't think the note referred to this, did it? Maybe this is the, the candle that they're talking about. Maybe the, the burning tower was a candle. But they snuffed out. This place was really busy when I was on my priest. So it looks like there's a few people here right now. Trying to complete the quest. Complete it quick. It's going to poly us. Nope, he didn't. He's just hearthing. He's teleporting to Ogremar. <laughs> I thought he was going to polymorph us there. Okay, so we got another another quest here. You tear the note from the plank and read it. Read the scrawled writing. The note begins, the mission said, They were both making deliveries for new plague. Looks like simple apothecary accidents. To me, find my cozy spot in the mountains between the barons and Desolus if you want a safe place to talk. All right. Well, there we go. We're heading over to the Stone Talon Mountains now. The charred note says the same thing. I wonder if we got another one. doesn't look like it. But we did get uh, a swiftness spot to increase our run's movement speed for 15 seconds. Not bad. I, I remember they gave, I think the next spot we get another movement speed buff as well. Because they know it does take a while to travel from all of these different areas. And since I've done this on the priest, guys, like I've, I've already done a, like a walk through, like a complete walk through. I think what we'll do is I'll just take us to this next spot. So we'll be here soon. Here we are in Stone Talon Mounds, guys. And right where we are, there's this, I wouldn't want to say it's a secret pathway, but it's a pathway off the road right here where you want to turn left. And then you follow this path over here to the pocket litter.
And I decided to cut out the, like, most of the walking. I know there's going to be a little bit of walking that I'm going to show for this cozy sleeping bag quest chain playthrough. And I'll mostly show the walking parts that I think are important, like this one, for example. I did do a full walk through on my priest where I didn't cut anything out so if you're interested in that check out the the priest playthrough I could uh, I think it comes up at the end during uh, at the end of the video for the end screen a little link pops up on the screen But I could link that down below if you want to see the full walkthrough. I'll put it in the description. All right, so here we are. We made it. And here is the pocket litter. Backcountry adventurers and mercenaries alike undoubtedly make camp here. The corner of a note flapping in the breeze catches your eye and you reach for it. Looks like we're going to get ourselves a mining pick or a farmer's shovel. We'll take the farmer's shovel. Our character seems to like shovels. That was our first two-handed weapon was a shovel. Ramble, not so bad, eh? Since you're reading this, it means my stash is still there. Take a hundred paces due north and don't break your ankles going down the steep cliffside. There should be enough to keep you going. All right, so here we are. This is the camp, guys. I think there is an optional part where you can... No equipment slot is available here. We also got a 12-slot bag. It's good because we really needed a bag. Place the 6-slot right there. Forgot that you, you get a 12-slot bag for doing this question. And there's the shovel. I think you can start a spire here. If I'm not mistaken, but I forget. They gave us flint and tinder and also some simple wood. Ah, oh, never mind. All right, so let's move on to the next part, guys. Last time I jumped down here and fell to my... I think I fell to my death, or we almost died. And then I had to make my way... My, make my way all the way back. And realize that we need to actually go down this way. And then right here is where the Mount of Dirt is. You pull a messenger bag out of the ground. Stuffed in with the supplies is a dirty parchment. Okay. And then we get some student fodder. Eat a handful and make up for a lost time on the trail. It gives you a little bit of movement speed, which is nice. We must choose a reward. Choose, uh... I guess the rifle? Seems to be all the same price. What job? Always like to keep a reserve stash nearby. In the off chance... I've got to flee in a hurry. The face of this mountainside is so beautiful, you might say. It was carved from the waterfalls of time. That's the eagle's nest. That's what you're looking for. All right, so let's uh, head over to Loch Madan. And then we need to make our way over to the eagle's nest. So I will see you guys then. Here we are at the Stone Rock Dam in the wetlands. Show you guys where we are on the map. Just up here. And then we're going to be making our way to the Eagle's Nest so we can complete the wet job quest. Takes a little while to travel here. Took me over 10 minutes.
But it is a cool spot that they picked. This dam actually gets destroyed in Cataclysm. Which is too bad, because it's a... Kind of like it. Alright, here we are. The carved figurine. Dwarven engineering, always a marvel. And we're going to get a hickory pipe and a rumsy rum light. Which will increase our stamina by 5 for 15 minutes. And gets you drunk to boot. You find a carefully folded letter inside the toolbox, imagining a voice speaking you read. From here, with the right tools, you can call the shots. Great place to launch a parachute glider. My loyalty to the eagle and fist requires distance in order to serve them best. This barricade has had better days, like the old kingdoms it once defended, but I'll never abandon it. Water spray dampens the air. The view is incredible. All right, so here we are. This is the view. Here's the dam, guys. There's a bunch of, you know, a couple dwarven heads here. Oh, I guess you could, this is the view. You can actually look, look at the long rifle. It has long sight, increased vision and range until you move. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't really have much time when I was on my priest just to check this place out. Because there was, like, a bunch of wards camping this spot. And eventually I just jumped off into the water here. Probably didn't need to use bubble there. And then I got ganked by the horde. And this was actually a good thing because I ended up spawning here. Or because there's a, a graveyard. And I took res sickness and it got me closer to Menethil Harbor. And now we have to do the Eagle's Fist quest. Which I believe is just up here in Hillsprout. So that is where we will be going next. Here we are at Thoradin's Wall. It is at the border of Hillsbrad and the Arathi Highlands. Show you guys on the map where we are right over here. And this is where we will be getting our sleeping bag, guys, just up here. I took a flight up to South Shore to get here. And you have to make your way up to Thoradin's Wall. The first time I did this quest, it was actually my first time traveling through this wall or on this wall. I've actually never been up here before in previous versions of the game. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Right here, you can see some people attempting to jump up. Hopefully we can remember how to do this. I think you have to go up here. I've done this in a while. Uh-oh. Yeah, you have to get to the second spot here, I think. Oh, we made it there. It was a close one. There we go. Oh! Let's try to get back up. Oh, messed up there. This is Night Elf helping us a little bit. He made it. Hopefully we can make it. Damn it. <laughs> Gotta turn the other way. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We made that's the hard part is jumping up there. We just have to make sure we don't fall. There we go. All right, we made it, guys. And here is the sleeping bag. Should be just around here in the messenger's bag. Campfire is newly fed with wood. 
but signs of a quick departure are evident. So I've decided to take my work back underground to stop it falling into the wrong hands. The paper is torn just large enough to fit the message. You aren't sure if these are the last words you'll read from the author, or if they're a clue to the next hideout. An inadequately secured sleeping bag is unrolling itself onto your feet. Heavy canvas is rolled over assorted equipment. You help yourself to the pack. Okay, so well, here we are. We have our cozy sleeping bag. Unfurl a sleeping bag. Resting inside for at least one minute will provide a bonus to experience earned, stacking up to three times. So I guess it takes three minutes for us to get the buff. The first time I was here, this place was packed with people. But it looks like this uh, this quest is... Uh, I don't know, it's died down a little bit. And yeah, you just have to yeah, sit in this sleeping bag. And then eventually you get the buff. We'll get one stack of the buff. I'll wait a minute just to show you guys. But there we go. That's the, yeah. We got the sleeping bag. Hopefully I... You know, it was a decent playthrough of it, but I did cut out quite a bit of the journey. Oh, look, someone else is coming through to get their bag. A human paladin, level 21. This person's like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> there we go. Now they're going to get their bag. This is also a paladin. I wonder what they found over there in the food crate. Oh, I guess a little bit of food. And there we go. We got the buff. Well rested. Experience gains increased by 1%. That keeps stacking up the longer we sleep in the sleeping bag. Just want to take a look at this. Didn't do this last time. But yeah, I think they did a great job with this. Awesome quest chain. It's one thing I like about the season of Discovery is all the new quest chains that they added to the game. There's a few books here as well. Aftermath of the Second War, Beyond the Dark Portal. I think that is it. Here's another food crate. Let's see what's inside. Some mutton chops. Oh, there's this orange tabby cat up there. That's cool. I didn't notice that the first time I was here. But yeah, guys, that is uh, the end of the cozy sleeping bag quest chain. We finally have our cozy sleeping bag, so you guys will probably see this buff on me for the rest of the playthrough. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.